Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2019. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active sky. We have one of the most fortunate days of the year set to take place right in the middle of the month and the grand setup that will ensure you make the most of it. We've got a blue moon, we've got a Venus changing signs, so there's so much to talk about here. Let's start with the new moon at the beginning of the month, right around the fourth or fifth, depending on where you are on the planet. We will have a new moon. And this new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that is a financial part of the sky. It has to do with money you earn and money that you spend. It also has to do with self-esteem and self-worth. Those issues are covered here in a more personal and meaningful sense. It is your inner concept of self and how that ultimately shows up in your life and how it can have a truly sweeping effect on your life. Well, this new moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter. I love that energy for you. I think that this is expansive. It is filled with opportunities. Jupiter, of course, continuing to move through the very top of your sky. Big, prosperous opportunities in a practical sense, but also in a personal sense, having a truly expansive vision, a sense of legacy, and how that connects to your sense of self-value today. That is part of the blessings of this month and the energy of this new moon. However, this new moon is also speaking in conversations of tension with Saturn and with Pluto. Now, it is these conversations that are important for a few reasons. One is both of these planets, Saturn and Pluto, are slowly moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendships and groups that you belong to. So just on a very literal, immediate level, this says do not mix friends and money. There might be some pressure to do so. If it is that you already have, this is where there could be some financial stress around that matter. But the other part of it is, do your friends support a healthy sense of self-love and a healthy sense of self-value and where it is that certain alliances are not rooted in that sense of healthiness, of a mutual sense of lifting each other. This is where you are going to see it more clearly. And this is where that disconnect is gonna show up. But conversely, this may also be a time when a friend is encouraging you to raise your own standards, but what their advice may be is missing some mark, missing some key details, missing some subtleties, and it may not feel comfortable to you. Now, what you do with it is always up to you to decide in light of your unique circumstances, but ultimately there is the opportunity there for you to get more clear about yourself, and that is the great gift. And it is ultimately what you do around this new moon, what you take that can be tension and use it to empower yourself, use it to know more about yourself and use it to affirm the best of you in terms of a prosperity of self-value and self-love or practical prosperity in your life. Well, that will be part of what sets the stage for really big moves and growth and luck that takes place mid-month. Right around the 14th of the month, the sun will speak in supreme harmony with Jupiter. This conversation happens only about twice a year. If you think back, it was in the later part of last year that the sun met Jupiter in the sky. That is considered the luckiest day of the year overall, but this is a very close second. And this type of conversation, what astrologers call a trine between the sun and Jupiter, only happens happens about twice a year. So this is your moment and it is a big moment at that. But what is especially notable is that this is going to be happening at a time when Jupiter is standing still in the sky at maximum force, maximum power. And this looks like a few things. One is some big gain could happen at this time, career-wise, 
uh, financially as well. It could be you that realizes that there is some investment that you want to make, some money that you want to spend in order to align with goals that you have. That could be part of the picture here as well. There's a lot of over optimism. At the same time, this is that sense of alignment, of self-concept and having a sense of destiny. So this is very powerful, but it is very fortunate and it will be as a result of the momentum and the, the motivation to actually take action in the early part of the month that is going to ensure you make the most of this. If there is any kind of big move you're hoping to make in April, uh, something you're hoping to put into place, especially where it comes to the financial picture of your life, I would advise you to do it at this time in the middle of the month. Now, as we move further into the month, right around the 19th, we are going to have a full moon. This full moon is special for a few reasons. Now, one is it is considered a blue moon. Now, what is a blue moon? It's sort of this cultural term and it refers to a couple of different phenomenon. One phenomenon is when we have two full moons in a given calendar month. The second full moon is called a blue moon. The other is when we have two full moons back to back, 28 and a half days apart, in the same sign, in the same part of the sky. And that's the case this time. This blue moon is going to be happening in the same part of the sky that last month's full moon took place. Now, full moons tend to bring with them completion and culmination, a sense of fruition. It was last month's full moon that took place at the beginning of its respective sign. So along with the sense of closure came that sense of the new and the next and excitement around that. It is going to be this particular full moon that is happening at the end of its respective sign. So this is the true closure, a real sense of completion and things coming full circle. And there's a certain emotional intensity around this time. Now, part of that emotional intensity is one of gratitude. Jupiter is speaking in harmony with this full moon. And so there's that sense of potential and possibility here. However, this full moon is also standing across the sky from Uranus. So there is a surprise element. Uh, things are moving very quickly. Uh, even a shock element for some people as well that requires you to find balance. But I actually think considering the connection to Jupiter, uh, I think that this energy is actually going to allow you some breakthrough, some leap forward into your future that comes up very quickly, but works very much to your advantage. The full moon is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with a few things. One is your relationship with financial institutions and your ability to attract resources. So just on one level, when you look at it from that perspective, this can be a time of resolution, a time of moving forward, a time of attracting large sums of money. It's a full moon. It is about a matter coming to a close. It could be that you've been expecting this. Uh, it could be a reversal that works in your favor that has to do with what's happening between you and ongoing matter between you and a financial institution. Uh, Mercury will leave shadow and leave your sign just before this full moon reaches its maximum potential. And so what that tells me is if you have been one of those Pisceans that's sort of been wrapped up in a matter near and dear to you, well, it is this energy that's going to allow meaningful transformation to take place and a transformation of circumstances to happen very quickly, financial or emotional or otherwise. Now, this part of the sky is also connected to a sense of transformation, sometimes what you've been working towards. And this is where real breakthroughs become possible. Outcomes can be unexpected if you are engaged in any kind of therapeutic process. This is where the breakthrough can occur that allows you to be propelled into a more authentic future. Now, where it comes to matters of love, Venus is going to remain in your sign right till the 20th of the month. This makes you the favorite of the Zodiac where it comes to all things romantic, being able to attract romantic moments into your life. Now, on another level, though, I do want to say when we look at Venus in your sign outside of love, 
it can be wonderful having Venus in your sign for making any kind of aesthetic changes. So wherever it is that you're hoping to make a change uh, so that you feel uh, you are expressing whatever your unique beauty is, well, this energy is gonna help you to do just that. As we start the month, Mercury is direct, but there's some kind of fuzzy energy around because Neptune is so close to Mercury at the start of the month, but that energy will start to lessen more and more the further we move into the month. And so especially once we are like a weekend, once we're past that new moon, um, you are in really nice territory there for a couple of weeks where if it is that you are wanting to make changes to your appearance, in any way, permanent, temporary, new wardrobe, new hair color, whatever the case may be, you've got lots of cosmic support to make changes that you really love. Once we get to the 20th, Venus will leave your sign and move into this financial part of the sky that will bless your income as we move late into the month and into next month as well. But from a love perspective, yes, Venus in your sign, great time for attracting someone new. As we move late into the month, once Venus changes signs, it tends to represent a time of generosity, especially on your part, and a time where your self-esteem is lifted, uh, either enough to know love differently, know love more expansively, or to allow love to find you. And that can happen because love either helps you to see yourself more lovingly or because you see yourself more lovingly, you're able to move towards greater love than you've known before. So if you're open to meeting someone new, first three weeks are an incredible time. Uh, when Venus is in your sign, it has a way of just showing up for you. You're that much more attractive to other people. And so that is energy you want to use. Make sure you're enjoying your life. Whatever it is that makes you feel like you are in a pleasurable space, uh, that you're celebrating your achievements, your accomplishments, or just enjoying being a human being, that is where love is most likely to flourish. As we move later into the month, it is going to be love that opens you to a greater sense of self-love. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, if you're just dating someone, the first three weeks are really nice. It just looks like a beautiful energy where you're enjoying this person, you're learning about them, but you may also have moments when you're a little caught up in emotion, uh, feeling swept away. That is because Neptune is gonna meet uh, Venus in the sky in the early part of the month. So yes, being very swept away, uh, carried on a cloud, uh, lost in a dream, hoping for the best is part of this, and you should enjoy it, absolutely love requires hope and you'll have lots of that in the early part of the month. As we move later into the month, it is gonna be your own sense of self-esteem and self-worth that is gonna show itself more in terms of the dynamic. For those of you who are in an established bond, when Venus is in your sign, it's that much easier to feel in love with your partner, that much easier to feel like there is sweetness and light within the bond, which is a beautiful thing. And that will be with you for the first part of the month. Once we get later into the month, you may find yourself being more generous with your partner, wanting to spend more money, give gifts, whatever the case may be. And if that trust is there, well, it is going to be an expression of generosity that is of enjoyment and validation, not just for your partner, but to yourself as well. What I love about this month for you, it's got to be all the abundance, all the prosperity that you are feeling, you are connecting to a spirit of self-value. And that in turn is shaping so many of your experiences and what you believe is possible for you. With Jupiter involved, it really is about the world. Truly, the world can be yours. And great accomplishments are possible, yes, but there is tangible evidence that as it is, you align with what it is that feels right for you to do in the largest sense, as it is that you become aware of a sense of destiny playing out in your life, your life feels one that is touched by ease and touched by a real spirit of having so much you can't help but give. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.